Hey everybody, welcome back to another unboxing video here at Gambit Digital and today we have something exciting for you, something that just came into the office only a few hours ago. Dun, 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 dun. It's this beautiful brown box. Well, the item isn't the brown box, the item is what's inside this brown box. Uh, our friends over at Cerevo let me know that they were sending us over a couple of new items that they were in uh, the works or just released one of the two. I can't remember emails. It was so many hours ago uh, But what they have sent over is this so we'll put that box to the side This is the Zon log one as you can kind of see through this packaging The Zon log one is a smart sensor to add visualized data to your video data 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 Anyways, the, <laughs> in this little credit card looking thing uh, one to one scale pretty Pretty small, and my thumb next to it, kind of tiny. Uh, will overlay this cool kind of HUD-like data onto your uh, videos. So when you're uh, motorcycle riding, it'll kind of give you all this cool stuff: your temperature, uh, pressure, rotation, acceleration, your G level, 8.3 Gs. Seems like you would die. I'm not sure if that's actually Gs in that sense. Um, or this guy's going very fast in some alternate dimension. Okay, so what this is, you put it on your motorcycle or I'm assuming you could probably put it on your car or something like that. But the Log 1 has six axis sensors uh, for acceleration, gyroscope, atmospheric pressure, temperature, and proximity. It's water resistant, IPX4, 19 hours of battery time on a tiny little watch battery. So that's what that is. So let's uh, open this bad boy up. Let me get my knife thing and let's see what the log one looks like. I'm gonna guess it's gonna look a lot like that. Ooh. Log one, quick setup guide. PR number five. And in Japanese. And oh. No, I don't see it. Ta-da, and it's under this thing. Oh my goodness, that is the smallest thing I have ever seen in all my days. So this is the Zon 1, I guess it's upside down. Will that focus in on that? Yeah, well, this is super, super tiny, and it's got a little, oh, mount clip was wondering that, because you could see how fast your uh, camera focuses by putting that on it. But it's got a little mounting bracket here, USB cable uh, for that. So that's what that is, that's kind of cool. We'll put this off to the side. Now you might be wondering why I just got a random sensor. Well because of what's in here. Oh, I'll find folks at Cerebo. And what this is, if I can open this, let's do some minor surgery without the weird languages. Make like that creepy dude with the gummies. You don't ever look that up on your day off. This is the REC one, or the REC one. Now, if you notice, Zon is kind of the encompassing, I wouldn't say brand, but kind of the, uh, ooh, I don't know, style of this. If you read uh, the magazine, if you've been to the website, you know that we covered another Zon product in the Zon, or something in the Zon range with regards to the snowmore, uh, snowboard bindings that were smart enabled. Uh, that's a long one spec, but let's look at this camera. Ooh, looks like your standard um, action camera. It is quite heavy. It's quite a good sturdy box. But let's see some of the specs on this thing if we focus in. Uh, 101 grams. It's got Wi-Fi, water resistant IPX4, onboard GPS, uh, video resolution of 1080 by 16p. So it's probably better than this camera that I'm using right here. Uh, video compression is H.264, so the standard. 4 megapixels for a still image. Micro SD to record, got a microphone, micro HDMI, and a replaceable battery. What are some of the other details? Uh, 1080p, speed sensor, GPS. So if you kind of pair these two guys up together, uh, you're going to get some pretty cool videos. And if you're a motorcycle rider or someone with an action cam kind of thing need for that, you might get a kick out of this. But let's open this thing up because that's what this video is all 
about. Okay, so let's put this to the side. What is this? Oh, this is the Zon 1 sensor. So this comes in a package. Looks like they gave us an extra sensor. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's... Second, I'm pretty sure that's the same uh, sensor. That is interesting. So one comes with this action cam where you can buy it separately, and I'm assuming maybe this works with other action cams and stuff. Uh, perhaps, perhaps, we might do a giveaway with this thing. Not sure how much this thing costs, uh, but it is probably pretty pricey up there. So stay tuned for that, we'll see. So let's put these things to the side. So we have another Zon 1. We have, oh, we lift this up and everything falls out of the back. All right, so this is the Log 1, a mounting clip. Ooh, got the back plate here. We got a quick setup guide, of course. And we have a bag of goodies. And what are these goodies? Got a micro USB. We got some sort of clamp. We've got some sort of other clamp. And I'm gonna guess this is another clamp. Is that all the clamps? Absolutely not. We got this thing, okay? <laughs> looks magnetic. Two more clamps. And I'm bumping this because I have so many clamps. Another clamp and uh, some sticky badges. So let's see. Look at all these clamps, which makes sense. If you have an action cam, uh, these are probably to mount to all sorts of different uh, mounting bases. Although it looks like we have a mounting base uh, right there. What is this? Symbol in China. Cerevol lock. I am... I'm... I don't know, is it going to focus? It's not going to focus, but that says close. Oh, that says lock on there. Uh, if you guys can figure that out, let me know. But I just want to show off what this is. But let's look at the camera itself, which is... What on earth is it attached to? Oh, wow. It is on some sticky plate. I hope I'm not breaking it. Nope, I'm not breaking it. Okay. It was stuck on there, so we'll get rid of that. Oh, okay, so this is the battery. That makes sense, okay. It looks like it fits right back in there. But this is the camera itself. Very stylish, very long. It's got the logo right up top. It's got a power and charge uh, meter right up top, but we can see it, it's not going to focus. Oh, there it is, focusing a little bit. There it is, power charge, Cerebo. Um, Very cool. Move it back and forth, so it's all ready to go. I guess you just have to pick whatever mount works for you. So that is very cool. So that's the REC one from Cerevo. But that's not all they sent us. They sent us a couple more things. Actually, one more thing by that matter. Uh, so let's clear this table off. We'll take a break right here, uh, and we'll jump cut back to what's next. And we're back. And this is what else was in the box. This is the Ride One Smart Writing Recorder. This Ride uh, One little device captures your, basically, I guess, your bicycle ride. Captures riding dynamics and upgrades your ride. Kind of see on the box there. Comes with an app, shows you kind of your speed, like the wind, all that stuff. Uh, I figured I was gonna be able to read this. This looks like it's all in Japanese. It looks like the sensor, uh, height, all that stuff. Much kind of like the Zon one, uh, or the Log one, for cars or for the motorcycle. This is for uh, bikes, but this has its own app on both Apple Store and Google Play, uh, and gives you all this data. I would give you more information, but I can't actually read any of this, except uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth, so that's cool. But we can open this to see what it looks like. Nothing in the box. Welcome to the Ride 1. Servo Ride 1, something, something, something. Same case. Same case, so if we open this up. Mini USB uh, with some screws in there. We have one, two, I was gonna say these are the same, they look a little bit different. Let's get this last one. That, pop that, bump the thing. We have three sort of mounting brackets and the device itself, which kind of almost looks a little bit like a vape pen, um, but it's very small. This is it, it's all encased, one device. See if it focuses. 
Right there. Come on. Come on, camera. Come on, camera. Oh no, it's not. It's not gonna focus, is it? No. No, we're gonna get you to focus. <gasps> Look at what we just did. There we go. It's backwards. Excellent. Excellent one. Uh, right there. So this is it. Almost kind of looks like not a, not a vape pen, but more like a battery pack charger. But you strap this sucker on. Looks like this goes around the frame. And this goes on here somewhere. Did I get it right? Probably. Like that. Yeah, looks like that. And then it tracks your data and sends it to your phone for your bike. So if you're more interested in any of these, check the links in the description. Not sure if they're all available on the market just yet, or they might have just gone on the market. I know these are brand new, uh, but if you want to stick around for our full review, that'll be over on our website, gambitmag.com, and the uh, review for the Ride 1, this guy, for the Log 1, and for the REC, the Record 1, will be featured in our June issue of Gambit Mag. So if you head over to the website, that's going to be free for you guys if you want to check that out. You can also find us over on Facebook. Uh, follow us there for tons of stuff, daily videos and lots of fun bits. Always interacting over there. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Smash that like button. Just punch it right through your screen. Whatever the cool kids and those influencers say to do. Uh, and we'll catch you next time. We have a couple more unboxings to come. Uh, some really cool things coming up. So thanks for watching. We will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Enjoyed the video? Feel free to look at our other videos to your left. Want to support? Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Want more? Give us a like and subscribe to Gambit Digital.